I am literally so excited to show you everything that we've picked up over the past week. Like I can't even see straight. My head is still spinning. I mean, we have names like Baker, Craftique, Staten Furniture, Maitland Smith, Hancock and Moore. Did I say Baker? There's Ethan Allen. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Collectively, this is probably the most expensive furniture that I've ever shown you all in one shot. So. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Craig Kinzer with Cray's Furniture and Antiques, and I'll start showing you the preview. We do have some of this stuff posted on the site, um, and others of it we're still working through. Now, this is a set of six um, Queen Anne dining room chairs by Staten Furniture, and these things are absolutely gorgeous. The person I bought them from actually worked for Staten, and these were in his mom's house. What is really amazing is that the frames are two and a quarter inches thick, like that thick, this front part. So these are real deal pieces of furniture. These aren't cheapy chairs. Um, these are heirloom quality furniture. Probably be saying that a lot today. Um, I had to have this. This is by a graffiti artist. Uh, he used to live in Raleigh or Chapel Hill or Durham, somewhere in the Triangle. Uh, I think he's out in LA or New York now. Um, his name escapes me, but if you look on our website, uh, I'll have it posted for you. This is a Chippendale style mirror by Baker Furniture that hung over that dresser, which we'll get to in a minute because I know you're already excited. Um, this mirror is absolutely gorgeous and I apologize it's a little bit hard to see when they're laying flat like this but I do have this one up on the website already there is a price tag of $1,600 on the back of that thing it is gorgeous I mean ornate and absolutely drop-dead beautiful um, this one I really liked a lot gold has a little kind of like a sea foam kind of aqua blue I guess or a lighter blue color and then um, a lot of furniture that I'm going to show you today came from uh, a lady that worked for Maitland Smith. I mean, funny, I had people that worked for Staten and Maitland Smith, but uh, all in the same week, but it's absolutely true. But anyway, she had a, a little shop uh, of her own after Maitland Smith, and these two prints came from that. They're really cool. That one's London Bridge, and this one is something different. Uh, these I loved. These are lithographs. Um, I'll post uh, all the details on the back, but these are just great, great pictures. This Butler's coffee table is by Madison Square, um, also a big name in furniture. This is going to be solid cherry construction um, throughout, and it's in really nice shape. Look at the top. Isn't that pretty? Um, but uh, some of these Butler's tables, um, the top does... Uh, separate from the base this one is attached they call it a butler's table because you can put it in a tray configuration like this and then grab the handles and then you know take it back and forth to the kitchen or dining room this is a really nice i would almost call this like a breakfast table um, by staten furniture so it's solid cherry the top is absolutely perfect came from my buddy that used to work at staten that gave it to his mom um, ball and claw feet we do have a leaf for it the leaf is 20 inches i think this thing is 37 inches square so it's 57 by 37 um, when you have the extension leaf in it um, but the smaller tables like this are always a great find especially in this kind of condition and then we've got a hancock and more 100% guaranteed authentic leather recliner um, with an ottoman. This wingback chair is by Baker Furniture. Baker Furniture. Um, this thing is very well constructed. It's super heavy uh, to be a wingback chair because it's made by Baker Furniture. Um, has some nail head uh, designs in it but just a really really pretty piece she had this in her master bedroom um, the bottom is feathered down it does have a little bit of lightning uh, lightning not lightning but sun fading from the light in the room um, but other than that I mean it's picture perfect legs are in good shape it's Baker so I mean you know the things gonna last forever I about died when I walked into this house I love these pine cabinets. This thing is massive. And when it's not sitting in a parking uh, lot, it looks amazing. So this top goes on that base. So this top goes on that base. It's all pine. This is an Ethan Allen piece and it is gorgeous. Look at all the detail on the top. Isn't that pretty? And it's got all the bookshelves. 
Um, it looks like they're all adjustable except for the bottom row. So there's three different height settings on the top two tiers, um, but it's just a beautiful piece. Cabinet on the bottom. We've got kind of an ornate uh, mirror by Carolina Mirror Company. I've got that one posted, so if you want to see the dimensions and details, uh, you can. Here's a three-drawer nightstand by Stanley Furniture. Um, this is a nice quality piece. Dovetail drawers. Look how clean the inside is. And you're going to be hearing me say that a lot, but nice piece. You know, darker wood, which is always good. Oh, almost cracked my bird picture. That would have been terrible. Okay, now pay real close attention because we're about to get to some expensive furniture. This um, is a Chippendale style mahogany dresser by Baker Furniture. Uh, it goes along with that mirror that I showed you earlier. Um, so this one is a two, four, seven drawer dresser. Everything's gonna be dovetailed. Uh, all the drawers pull in and out nicely. Um, I do have this one posted on top so you can see uh, some of the details on it, but it is an absolutely beautiful piece. So we have the matching high boy chest of drawers, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, we also have uh, the matching nightstand. So to have everything um, bedroom furniture by Baker is a very, very awesome. Here's the high boy chest of drawers. Um, there's two smaller drawers at the top, and then you've got three, five, six drawers down below. And this thing when I tell you, it looks perfect. It looks perfect. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, Baker, if you didn't know, one of the highest end brands that you could name in North America. Um, you can make an argument that they're probably top five uh, in North America, but we have both of the nightstands. Um, they had glass tops on them when I found them. I think they've had glass tops on them probably since um, she brought them home. Um, but doves, doves, drawers are dovetailed. It's got the cabinet at the bottom. Um, I'm going to tell you this probably two or three different times, but it's hard to find the smaller Baker furniture. And the reason is, um, this is heirloom quality stuff. So a lot of times people have space for one or two nightstands or a smaller table. It's kind of harder to place, you know, this chest of drawers or that dresser, you know, if somebody in your family passes away, a lot of times people just don't have the space or just clashes with their current interior, whatever the case may be. But to find nightstands, hard. And there's some smaller tables I have out of the same estate that it's really, really rare. Here's a Demi Loom uh, four drawer chest. Uh, this was purchased from Furniture Land South. So, you know, it's gonna be a good quality piece. I love the fact that it's demi looms. Look at the nice curved front. Um, it, it has parchment and cream written on the back, uh, which I think just pretty much describes the color, but really beautiful piece. Let me tell you something. This is not a Wayfair piece. This is not a Target piece. Um, this thing weighs a metric ton. It, it's smaller in size, um, but this is real wood and solid wood construction. Uh, and it's a very, very nice piece of furniture. These, I, I about flipped out when I saw them. So this is by Maitland Smith. There's four of them. Uh, the bummer is the bottom chair parts aren't built out. So you would need to, you know, cut those out or take them to an upholsterer that could do it for you. Um, but these things are a blank canvas and they're gonna be a lot less expensive than what you would buy Maitland Smith dining room chairs for. Um, you know, it's gonna be really ornate because all of Maitland's, Maitland Smith furniture is. Um, there's an original price tag of $17.93 on each of them. Uh, I guess it went to the outlet and they reduced the price to $755 a piece. So, I mean, here's a really, really great set of chairs. Um, you know, if you wanted some like really high quality uh, dining room chairs and just can't find the right pattern. I mean, this is blank ca canvas for somebody who's going to be super excited to see those things. Um, this is the coolest stinking buffet that I have ever seen. Um, so came from my buddy uh, that worked at Maitland Smith, but when she owned her shop with her mom, um, she bought this old antique cabinet and then they painted it for to display things in the store. And it is so awesome because there's a little green paint coming through and you know I don't think they did it like you know uh, meaning to do that 
I just think that, you know, chipped over time or maybe they did leave it off. But anyway, it has an amazing look. And, you know, the, the knobs are, and all the rest of the hardware are new, but this thing has some serious age to it. And it's just a really, really neat piece. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, I'll have to fix this guy because it's the other half of the board running across, but I just love the look of this thing. I mean, absolutely love it. And if you like furniture, there's, there's somebody right now giggling. Um, I thought that these uh, were really cool prints. Uh, they're actually photographs. I guess on the back it says that, you know, they're uh, from older negatives that, that were found. And then they... Uh, and then they made them into pictures. I'm sorry, my mouth broke for a minute. Um, here's a couple of campaigner style things from Henry Don. So we have this dresser. Uh, we have the nightstand. There's a mirror that goes along with this set. There's also a queen or full size bed. Um, this is all walnut. And the thing that struck me most was the brass. You know, a lot of times when I find these, you know, the brass is either a little bit blackened or kind of scratched. Um, all of this furniture came out of a spare bedroom and it doesn't look like, like, look at the drawers. It doesn't look like anything's ever been in any of it. I mean, it almost looks like, you know, time warp. I mean, look how shiny the brass is on all this stuff. It's really, really nice. And again, we have the matching nightstand. They're on bun feet, which make them a little bit unique because you don't see that a whole lot on, you know, the bedroom furniture. This is a substantial tall dresser by Aspen Home. Um, so this is probably solid cherry construction. It's got these two little smaller kind of hidden drawers um, up top that have jewelry organizers in them. And they just kind of click to open and close. Uh, if you don't want the jewelry organizer, it is removable. Um, but all the drawers are dovetailed. It's a nice piece. This thing has pretty substantial weight to it. Both of the top drawers are felt lined. And then you go, you know, to the other drawers. It looks like she had, like, some kind of protective paper or something in that one. Um, but anyway, it's a really, really pretty piece. And it's tall. And it's in really great shape. You know, it kind of has the wormwood type look. Isn't that pretty? Um, so if you want to come pick this up, we don't mind helping you load or load it for you. Um, but you'll need to tell me in advance if you don't think you can handle the weight of that thing because it is heavy. So this is a stop the presses piece. Uh, here is a bachelor's chest by Baker Furniture. And when I tell you that it's hard to find the smaller stuff by Baker, it's almost impossible to find a chest like this. Look at the burled wood on the side. I'm, I'm just going to give you a minute and shut up because it's amazing. So it's a four drawer chest. It has the a pull out table. Look at that. Just look at it. It's pretty. She had this in her entryway. I can't get that close with one hand, but all the drawers are going to be dovetailed. Um, look how clean they are inside. And a little brass there. That's good for the demonstration. And I got uh, bird's eye kind of maple on the top. Or it could be like, I guess, ash as well. But it's just a really, really great piece. And you won't find many of these if you're Googling uh, Baker Bachelor's Chest right now. I guarantee you there's not a whole lot in the country the ones that i did find on etsy and stuff were like over two grand and i'm not asking quite that much for this thing but it's gorgeous here this is probably like 1930s maybe early 40s mahogany uh, coffee table i really like this piece it's got a leather top you've got some gold tool work um, here on the trim it's got a protective glass top which is custom cut of course because it's kind of got you know the edges but really really pretty piece this thing is awesome so this is solid mahogany it's got the single drawer it's a taller console table um, and it does have a marble top and it says that it's guaranteed authentic marble uh, underneath the only bummer was i couldn't find a manufacturer on this thing but um, the wood is probably three quarters of an inch thick um, in the framing of this thing look 
there aren't any veneers in it so it's a really high quality piece um, this was displayed on top of a landing for the second floor and she just had a lamp displayed on it um, and I think that it was probably just moved up to there and never moved again um, because it's perfect I mean perfect perfect then we've got a smaller pedestal plant stand it's not not as exciting when you start talking about baker stuff and <laughs> right uh, here's a walnut side table with a little bit of oriental flair this is by Tomlinson. Um, they've been around for a long time and they build some really really beautiful things um, some of these are like lightweight and not very nice um, this is a really really good quality piece and for size it weighs a ton but really thick wood probably half an inch thick um, before i get too far ahead of myself look at this mirror i want to show you two of them this is by uh, labarge uh, who made mirrors for uh, maitland smith this thing has a lot of weight to it distressed look and it's gorgeous but look how thick it is isn't that cool and then this one is by maitland smith the decorative like black and gold it's got some flowers going on uh, there's some flower vases in the corners but really really pretty piece so i've got those two mirrors before i start rambling at the mouth and um, a tilt top pie crust pedestal side table this came out of the house that had the baker furniture in it um, doesn't have a manufacturer's name on it but it's a really nice piece um, solid mahogany construction um, you know ball and claw feet it's really nice now, these chairs are show stoppers and i'm not even kidding um, sometimes pictures and videos don't do something justice and here are two examples of that um, both of these chairs i still haven't convinced myself whether these are like older chairs or newer chairs to make uh, look like old chairs but it's all reclaimed wood um, it's all hand tooled like all the carving is hand done or it was done by a machine to make it look hand done um, and the cane seat is all woven so it's not the channel cane so um, there are some great details and look it's all peg construction so they would have drilled the holes in there wooden pegs and you know knocked them in to hold everything together but these are so so cool and i can't even tell you how awesome they look in an actual room um, and since I almost tripped over this mirror, I'll show you this thing too. I think this is by Labarge as well, um, but it's got the metal leaves. So you've got some great texture and it is a large mirror. I just thought this thing was awesome. So you've got those. So these were right beside that table that I'm getting to. Um, more display piece than anything else. Cause look, you know, the cushions do come off if you don't like those, but they're thick and they're in good shape. And I think they're pretty. Um, these two chairs are by Hickory Chair Company. Um, they're really carved uh, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, same size, so this one is a little bit different tone, obviously, than that one. So this one, you know, is a little bit lighter. That one's more of a dark mahogany look. And both of them have different upholstery on them, but they are both just dynamite pieces. I love, this is a little round side table, got burled wood, marble top. You got the cabinet doors below, just a really cool little piece. So th these two chairs are something special. And I have both of them posted on the website right now. So these are numbered uh, collector pieces. These are part of the Biltmore Estate Collection from Craftic. I was begging the person to sell these to me for um, probably a little bit over two years. Uh, and I finally got them. And they are perfect. Perfect, perfect. I think one of them is like 1130 and one of them is like 1131. But again, they're Craftique which in upholstered furniture, hard to find, built more collection, you may never ever see uh, a pair of those chairs ever again. And both of them have never been sat in. Kind of hard to go from, you know, those chairs to this, but you know, kind of just an ordinary side table with a center drawer. So, you know, if you're looking for economy furniture, well, uh, there you go. I mean, it's a nice stable piece. You're looking for high-end furniture, well, there you go. You know, maybe you could buy that and I'll throw that one in whatever the case may be. Uh, here's a watercolor. This one's by Robert Clark Brown. Uh, I just like the colors, thought it was interesting. You know, he does some 
modernistic stuff and you know I just like the colors in it um, this vase is uh, Maitland Smith um, pretty good size look at this for your table look at it all carved up on the bottom Maitland Smith hello isn't that pretty and then you've got the glass top uh, this is also a Maitland Smith piece I think this thing is absolutely amazing it's a built-in lamp so it's actually a side table lamp huh cool huh leather top pedestal base just really cool here's a metal and wood side table it's got good size so if you're looking for something a little bit neat you know just has a little bit different look okay so remember I told you that these awesome chairs were around this table so can anybody say Hinkle Hinkle Harris, y'all? Look at the flame mahogany front. Huh? Isn't that pretty? And the legs. So this is a flip top game table. Um, the rear legs uh, pull out of the back. It's solid mahogany. And then that flips open. So she had this uh, on the wall. And then right next to him, she had those two killer chairs. Um, when I told you the smaller Baker furniture is hard to find, uh, Game Table by Hinkle Harris, you may never see that again. Um, it is just a really, really awesome piece, and look at it. I mean, it is in remarkably good condition, but super, super cool piece. And then we get a lot of these chairs, you know, kind of the rounded armed cane chair. Um, this is probably the nicest one that we've ever had, or at least in the top two or three. I mean, there's not a mark on this thing. Um, you know, the upholstery is in good shape. Uh, all of the cane is intact. I mean, it's just a really, really nice piece. Kind of has like the bamboo look uh, front legs. <sighs> I'm going to say it one more time. The smaller Baker stuff is really hard to find. And here's a double tiered table. I'm pretty sure this is walnut. Um, but it does have kind of some bird's eye pattern in it. But it's really pretty. It's got the lipped um, back, double tiered. It's just a beautiful piece, but Baker furniture. And I'm not kidding you, because I know some of you are starting to Google uh, side tables and nightstands by Baker. They're few and far between. This is a really unique piece. So this would be what I would call either a library or a foyer table, but you could actually use it as a console or an entryway table. This is also by Maitland Smith. I love the top. I mean, Maitland Smith does everything that's just, you know, kind of a little bit over the top, but has the bird's eye maple look. And then they put it, you know, with a, a darker toned wood on the side and then on the base as well. And I think it just pulls it off nicely. Um, there's pull out tables on both sides. So, I mean, you can be a little creative on how you could use this table, but um, you know, it's just a piece of furniture you don't see every day. I'm going to say it one more time. Smaller Baker pieces are hard to find. Um, I found a house full of them. Um, and this is a console table. Look at the burled wood on the top. Isn't that pretty? So it's by Baker Furniture. She had this um, in a, kind of like a small little nook right before you hit the master bedroom. And there was just a lamp on top of it. Um, and it looks, I mean, th there's really nothing negative to report on this thing. Look at it. It's just really beautiful. But again, Baker Furniture, the smaller stuff is hard to find. Here's a tilt top table by Maitland Smith. Um, this one also kind of has a burled pattern on it pedestal base, um, brass foot feet caps, and then, you know, it goes down into place like so. Okay, the last time, I swear, uh, smaller tables by Baker Furniture are hard to find. This one is like super small. I do have this one posted already. It's just a smaller Pembroke table. Make sure you pay attention to the size on this thing because like this is a normal uh, height dining room table. I mean, it is a little bit short and small, but it's super cute. And it's by Baker Furniture, so it's a good quality piece. Love this table. This is a Maitland Smith um, dining room table. So, you know, it's got leaves on both sides. It's also got pull-out drawers on both sides. So you could actually make this uh, um, 
could be you know like a writing desk type of deal if you wanted to do something a little bit funky in your office or you know just keep it as a dining room or breakfast table because it's smaller it doesn't take up a whole bunch of room um, and then this is an entertainment cabinet burled front um, really really pretty top it's a really pretty piece um, cabinets on both sides You've got the front glass door we do need to dust it um, it is missing the little dust cover on the back but you know it's a nice look solid wood piece you know there's no veneers on it which is good um, so I'll show you some of the accessories that we have We've got some food dogs at this cool and they're a little bit bigger than what you normally see um, so most of these lamps are either Maitland Smith um, uh, this one is Maitland uh, this one is not this one is Maitland Smith this one is really pretty it's got like peacocks on the front of it this is uh, some brand name that she told me and said it was like super awesome but I couldn't tell you who it was anymore and then a pair of Maitland Smith lamps I love this one look at this and they cool but that's also Maitland Smith. Um, I think this one is Uttermost, uh, which is pretty good. I love this one too. It's kind of simple. It's got you know yellow and it's porcelain with some gold trim. You know brass on the on the base with you know leaves, and then uh, you know just another lamp that we picked up. Love this piece too. And then you've got this one. And then this guy I thought was super awesome. I forget what you call those things, but it's whatever that is in color. Loose, lucite maybe? Could be completely wrong about that. But look, y'all. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. There's more. Uh, so we've got these two poster beds. Um, this one's by Jasper Cabinet Company. It's a queen size pencil post. Uh, and it's perfect, perfect. This one is a queen size poster bed with uh, you kind of got the acorns on the top finials. Um, it's solid cherry by Staten Furniture. Staten Furniture. I said that a lot today. Um, but thank you so much. I know that I was more than long-winded. Hopefully you're still with me. But we have some amazing, amazing, high-quality, big brand name stuff. Really appreciate your time. If you want to come see it, have some questions. Uh, my name and number is on the contact page at our website, crazefurniture.com, C-R-A-Z-E furniture.com.